What do you say we talk about some Eclipse today? How about that? Want to talk about some Eclipse? I want to talk about some Eclipse. Now, I'm going to mainly speak on the Omni 22 mil and the uh, Omni Mark II. All right. Now, and is the beta version Mark II. All right. These do come in really, really super handy. Um, I was actually at the supermarket the other day with my eye stick and the Omni 22 millimeter. Stayed on my pocket the whole time, banging the car, bending over. See now, the way you put on the 510 adapter, they want you to put it on the device first. That way. If you have a longer pin, it'll jut off that pin. Self uh, adjustability. Nah. My problem is now I have it on here, and I didn't put it on very tight. But because your Addy's heat up and cool down, now it doesn't want to come off unless I grab a pliers because it's super duper smooth. It's super duper smooth. Now, one of these I put on. My snow wolf. Oh, I got it finally. My fingers are like permanently indented for five minutes now. I put one of these on my snow wolf and uh, I put it on this way. Put the adapter on. Put everything on the snow wolf. And all of a sudden, my tank was a little off to the side. I didn't hit it on nothing. I just had it on there to have it on there. I didn't even, I didn't even use it. But it was on there. All right, and uh, so I pulled my Addy off, and the 510 stayed in there, which was kind of weird because I put the adapter on the Addy first, so it was snug on there, but the adapter stayed in there, and then I noticed the adapter was off to the side. Well, I screwed it down nice and straight. Maybe one of the times I bumped it, maybe the heat from the Addy, I was using it, for some reason, I could use my dark horse. I don't know what happened there, but normally my dark horse doesn't go with my E clip very well because my center pin is up in the 510 just a little bit, so it doesn't quite reach. For some reason, it was working yesterday. Yes, this was yesterday. And, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. But, uh, once I finally did get it out, which I had to grab it with the pliers and pull it out, it, uh, I thought I was just taking threads with it. But it actually went right back in the way it should. I didn't see any missing threads, nothing. But uh, there is a looseness to it. So maybe on some 510 connections, they're a little off in size. Now, I don't seem to have that issue with my Sigeli or the iStick or really even even the, the blue cheapo box even the blue cheapo box screws in really nice there is just check it out there is just this little bit of wobble in there it's screwed like three quarters of the way in there right now and I notice I have three Eclipse and all of them are like that there's just that hair bit of looseness there's a little bit more on my snow wolf, it seems. So, it's probably a snow wolf issue. That being said, on with the show, right? So, the Mark II comes with the 510 to 510 adapter, right? If you reach up inside, this is really nice and thick. It does say E clip. I'm not going to catch any light, but it says E clip on both sides. You take out the nice spacer that won't scratch your mod. All right. There's also an O-ring up in here, and uh, I'm not going to pull it out, but there's an O-ring up in there. You see that shine? That's the O-ring, and that adds a little bit of bounce to everything. Because if you just put this little washer in there, uh, it pretty much flattens out to the bottom of the plastic. And then you have the chance, if this moves a little bit, you're going to get a little uh, paint scuffing if you have a painted mod. 
Just put that out there. Just put that out there. I do think I enjoy the original version a little bit better. Now, granted, the Mark II adapter stayed on that time. The the original right here, right? Original, sure. The Omni 22 millimeter looks like that. Okay. You have to kind of take it off in two pieces, where the Mark II all stays together. Now, wow. I tell you what, I don't screw these on real tight, but they're just the bane of my existence today, I guess. There we go. It's nice that they have the uh, airflow slots in there. Can you see that? Can you see the airflow slots? Because that lets you use a thumbnail or something to pull them off. Now, we'll pick these both up. And we'll put them side by side so you can choose. But now, granted, this is a, a just after first run, the beta, however you want to put it. This is the, the black one right here, is the Mark II. All right, we'll see if we can get this in the center instead. All right, you notice the edges are nice and round. Nice and round. The only quarrel I see with this is the edges are flat. Okay? And these are super duper flexible. Alright? Now, if I really wanted to, I could break that, I guess. I can't break it. But you know how plastic is if you just, if you keep going, you know, if you keep going, you can kind of start to feel it. Now, it will. You can see it bending back. It's going to bend back. Nothing you really do with this hanging off to your pocket is going to do this, alright? Nothing you do is going to do this because by that time it's going to fall out. You see, this one is a little bit different of uh, material. It springs back a little bit faster, but still. Oh, you can see that one's kind of straightened out now. Look at that. You can always bend it back. It got weak in that point. I still like this one better. Now, if you let these in your car in a 100 degree day, so it's like 150 degrees in your car, they will deform. Where these ones are not supposed to. I don't know. My, my only quarrel really with these is the 510 to 510. That's really my only quarrel. It's just, it's it's not tall enough in the middle for some things. For me, um, it's not really adjustable because it's just a floating pin in there. This isn't really a review of it. I just I just wanted to speak on the E-Clip a little bit. I've been using it. I use it on my SIG like this all the time because it's comfortable that way. Okay? Um, I don't clip my SIG because I don't take my SIG anywhere because it's a big damn box and if I'm going to go out and about, um, I just put that in my pocket. That being said, I wouldn't be using it on that either because this is even heavier than this. Who wants to take a big heavy box with them everywhere? Not me. Oh, wait, man. Now the Mark II's are also coming as uh, you can have them with a J wrap on them, and those are thirteen fifty. A regular Mark II is ten bucks. I think. I think the Omni twenty two mil is uh, ten bucks still. I will check it for you as long as I'm right here. Why not? Omni twenty two mil. Um, we're just gonna click on the gray one. Let's click on the gray one. Ten bucks. Okay? Ten bucks. And uh let's see. They do have other stuff. Alright, we'll go through some other stuff that's on there. Alright. Uh 
22 mil HD, 30 millimeter HD, Omni 18.5, the vape clutch, which is a bag for your stuff. You can order the 510 to 510 adapter, the VC1, which goes on your Ego style. Uh, and they're a little metal clip, not a plastic clip. The juice clip that you can slide onto your juice bottles has a climber's hook on it. I know I've said this before in another video, but I just wanted to talk on it again. Uh, now they have an anti-swirl kit, which comes with a uh, little washer that goes underneath it in case you have a high-end device and you don't want that swirl mark that some Addies put on there. It'll go down underneath everything and won't give you that swirl mark, hopefully, where it scuffs the paint off in a nice, beautiful circle. Uh, they have a lift kit now, which uh, some non-adjustable pins on your devices, right, are going to make this not screw down all the way, so it's going to sit like up here and be all loose and wonky and whatnot. They have lift kits that will put another washer underneath there. You screw it down, and it's all nice and tight, and it's good to go. They even have the replacement washer and adapter sets for the Mark II. They're selling unicorn bottles, too. I don't know if that's here nor there. All right. They do have a pumpkin splatter. Uh, just put that out there. It's almost Halloween. They have a pumpkin splatter. You know, I got this orange one. That one's like uh, orangish yellow. And uh, it's for Halloween, man. And it's 9 bucks instead of 10 if you're so inclined. Now, all that being said, this is a great product. Just because of the usefulness, right? I mean, you put it on a tube mod, and now, now when you go to fire the tube mod with your pinky, you have this grip here. See how your, your fingers want to go down the group, but they can't? That's just awesome. I don't want to grab the tube mod, but you get it. I still want the top of this right here to look like the top of that. I want that 510 connection. I do. I want that 510 connection. That way, this stays here all the time and it doesn't just come off while I'm changing out my Addies. I want a 22 mil top or at the very least well a 22 mil for the 22 devices you know 18 and a half for the 18 and a half devices maybe a 30 mil one for the 30 mil devices you know as as they go which I realized they went with this because they're readily available, easy to get, and inexpensive. Whereas anything 510 to 510 with a 22 mil cap on it, they're probably going to have to get a vendor to make for them, and it's not going to be so inexpensive. I realize that. That will up the price on these, I'm betting. I'm betting. That being said, see, it's uh, it's already back to form. Put this on here. I like doing it this way. I do. I like putting this on first. I don't like putting it on my tank because then it just stays on my tank. Just clips on there, and then you just screw it down, nice and snug. I like putting the tank on last. I don't like when I pull the tank off and the 510 connection comes out with it. It just seems weird. My batteries are dying. Hmm. It works. And I like it. And you can just clip it on stuff. and. Yeah, it's handy. And yeah, see, it's got the snap back to it already. It's just how it is. Hey, I'm not worried about beating up my box. Yeah.
it's it's flexible, man. It's nice. Don't mind my boy playing whatever he's playing. I think he's playing The Last of Us, and he's really loud. But it is what it is. I just wanted to speak on the E clip again. You know, uh, a little look at it. It's been like what a month or so, a month or so, two months that E clip came out. Maybe it's two months. Not that they came out, but they started really going mad with the uh, 22 mils and uh, all that jazz. And uh, I don't know. It's really handy on the side. Can't do that with the Snow Wolf because the 510 on the Snow Wolf is on the same side. Sorry, on the same side as the buttons. So it's kind of null and void for me to put it on the side of the Snow Wolf. And I don't like the idea of putting a plastic clip on this really super shiny surface because if it does, you know, spring in and out and rub against it, it's going to scratch that up a little bit. It is. It's, or scuff it at least. Not maybe scratch it, but it's going to scuff into the surface. So uh, for the Snow Wolf, the design as it is right now would be a no-go for me because it wants to scratch up something so darn shiny. Not me, that's for sure. Look, my battery's dead. That's not about the E-clip. My battery's dead. Still vaping, though. The E-clip. I'll put links down the bottom for the E-clip site. I just, I just thought I should talk on it a little bit. I can't wait to see uh, what they come out in the future with. Because uh, it's a good idea. And I did notice on the site that their process has not eliminated. You can't really see it on mine. Not in the video. You see that line down the center? I didn't smooth mine out or nothing. And I can totally feel it. But that line is there from the process. The printing process. The uh, mold process. The mold process. Let's go with that. And it has a predominant, predominant line in the inside that's for sure but if you get one of the j wrap ones it covers all that up it covers up from the top up here all the way down here it doesn't cover the sides doesn't cover the inside but it covers the whole top part you won't see that line it'll look nice and super super duper smexy just like that except it'll be j wrapped and super shiny where this isn't super shiny it's shiny but not super shiny Mm. Tasty, tasty. The E clip, the E clip, the E clip is what it is. It's a clip for your device of choice. It fits many different devices. It's a good thought. It's a it's a good first design. Um, but there is room for improvements. You know, such as we talked about the rounder edges, like the Mark II. Very nice, like that. I still. I still like the design of this. All I want is a 510 connection with a 22 mil top. That's it. And I would be super duper, super duper happy. I would replace every single one that I have currently with that design and uh, retire these already and use those. And I would probably purchase them for each one of my devices so I would never have to take them off. They would just stay forever and ever. That's what I got for you guys. Eclip. Go check them out. And have fun, because I will.